In this video, I'm going to go more in depth in what the inversion further cap strategy is. And before we get into the video, if you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord link in the description. It's totally free. And also, I definitely recommend watching the first part of the inversion further gap strategy. So just to give you a short recap of the criteria, the first one is we want to see price take out liquidity or deliver it from any form of PDRA before we could start looking for a inversion further gap. And the second one is the candle must close above the further gap validating the inversion further gap and the third one we want to see is singular inversion further gap so not multiple and the fourth one is internal risk liquidity must not be ran before we make any form of retracement up to the inversion further gap and the fifth one the drawn liquidity has to be obvious so for next example we see price comes down and touches a PDRA, array also taking out sell side liquidity so already here we have one of the criteria that we needed for the inversion further gap strategy. So now we want to be looking for a singular inversion further gap as price is delivering from a PD array and took out sell side liquidity. And right here we see we have a further gap and there are no further gap up here to be inversed. So this is a singular inversion further gap. So this is exactly what we needed. So now we have two of the criteria that we want to be looking for for the inversion further gap model. And we also see the price disrespected this inversion further gap, which is a small confirmation for high prices also. So now we want to look for the third criteria, which is, is internal range liquidity been taken out? And we see price does not take out internal range liquidity before making the retracement down into the inversion further gap. And the fourth criteria is also we had to target the internal range liquidity if we were to take a trade entry based on the inversion further gap model. And as we see, we could target the internal range liquidity and put our stop loss at the slow or just a place where we think the inversion further gap would be invalidated and still have a great risk reward ratio. So in this case, we could easily target the internal range liquidity. And one of the extras that we want to be looking for when looking for a inversion value model is a balanced price range, which I mentioned in my last video. And as we see right here, we created a value gap within the inversion value gap right here. And we see price made a retracement down into that value gap within the inversion value gap. So a balanced price range. So we see we had all the criteria for this trade. So this would be a perfect inversion value gap model. For the next example, we see the price creating the SMT, also de delivering from this value gap. So now we can go over to ES. You see that we, we created the SMT, and as you see right here, we took out the slow on ES, but over here on the NASDAQ. we failed to take out that low. So in that case, we could anticipate a reversal. And what do we look for right here? We look for a inversion value gap model. And what do we have right here? We have a singular inversion value gap. As you see, there are no inversion value gap up here. So in that case, we have our inversion value gap model. And we have one of the criteria right here is price both delivering from a PDRA also creating a SMT. And it is a bit different when looking for the inversion further gap model when we created the SMT. So I would use the inversion further gap as a confirmation from the SMT that price is willing to go higher. But in this case, let's just say we were to take a trade entry right here at the singular inversion further gap and target internal range liquidity. So in that case, we need to spot the internal range liquidity, which is our drawn liquidity. And that will be up here. So up here, we have internal range liquidity, and we also see price delivered from this further gap up here. So now we have our inversion further gap model because price has not taken out internal range liquidity before making a retracement down into this inversion further gap. So if we were to take a trade entry, we could long 
right when Price makes the retracement down into this inversion of gap, or we could enter right at the candle close, as the candle close is not far from the inversion failure gap. If the inversion failure gap was a lot bigger than this one, we would wait for a retracement. But in this case, this is a relative decent sized failure gap. So in that case, we could enter right when price make the candle close. But in this case, we make the retracement. So just base the trading tree off of that. And where should we put our stop loss? We could put our stop loss maybe at this candle low or something like that, and then target in turn means liquidity, which will make it to risk reward ratio. So now let's see if the criteria were used in this inversion further gap model. So first of all, they would take out any form of liquidity or are we delivering from any form of PDRA? So in this case, the liquidity would be the SMT and the PDRA would be this further gap. So the first one we have checked. The second one, candle must close, and as we see, the candle closes above the inversion value gap. Third one, is it a singular inversion value gap? Yes, we see there are no inversion value gap up here or down here. Fourth, internal range, range liquidity must not be ran before retracement. And as we see, the internal range liquidity has not been ran before we make the retracement. Fifth, drawn liquidity has to be obvious. Yes, right here the drawn liquidity was obvious as it was the interim range liquidity but the, because the interim range liquidity was not taken out. So yes, the, all the criteria were used in this inversion of value gap example. So for next example, we see price has made these relative equal lows down here. So in that case, there will be a strong draw on liquidity going into the AM session. So now that we know we have a strong draw on liquidity, we would look for the inversion value gap model. And for this example, we see price is delivering from this value gap up here. So in that case, we want to look for a inversion value gap. And we see right here, we create a inversion value gap that price closes below. And one of the criteria is of course, singular inversion value gap. And we see this is a singular inversion further gap as there are no inversion further gap down here. So in that case, we see price makes a inversion further gap and does not take out internal range liquidity. So in that case, we see price makes a retracement without taking out internal range liquidity. So then we could short right when price comes up and touches the inversion further gap. And then we could put our stop loss at this high up here and then target internal reach liquidity. But that, first of all, that would make a terrible risk reward ratio. And we have a strong drawn liquidity down here. So instead of targeting internal reach liquidity, we would like to target the relative equal dose down here, which is a strong drawn liquidity, as I said before. And right when we mean go into the AM session, price targets these equal those. As you see right here, this is 8.30 opening. We make a strong down close candle. And then after that, we make a small retracement and then target the equal those. So now let's go over the criteria. So first of all, are we delivering from any form of PDRA or have we taken out any form of liquidity? Yes, we are delivering from a bearish further gap in this example. Second, candle must close. Yes, we see candle closes below this value gap, validating it, validating it as a inversion further gap. Third, it has to be a singular inversion further gap. And yes, this is a singular inversion value gap. As you see, we have no further gap down here. Fourth, internal range liquidity must not be ran before retracement. And as we see in this example, we make a retracement before internal range liquidity was ran. So in, the, so in that case, we could use this inversion value gap and then target, of course, the internal range liquidity. Fifth, drawn liquidity has to be obvious. And as we see, internal range liquidity, first of all, that was an obvious drawn liquidity. And this equal dose was also a obvious drawn liquidity. As we saw at 8.30, we made a large down close candle. So in that case, we could probably think that price is willing to go down to these relative equal lows down here. We see just 15 minutes within AM session, price takes out the 
relative equal those. So all the criteria were used for this inversion further gap model. So that was it for this video. And this video was a bit like a part two of the video I made about, or the first video, video I made about the inversion further gap model. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if there's anything you didn't understand, or if you have any questions, or if there's any SAT concept that you want to learn more about, just comment down, comment down below. And as I said in the start of the video, if you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord link in the description. It's totally free.